this lady to be married? King of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. All right. Well, we're here this afternoon in the sight of these witnesses, in the sight of God, to join the two of you, David and Carol, in holy matrimony. David, Carol, I'm sure you plan to make your relationship very, very, very successful for the rest of your life. Huh? That's the idea. Huh? And the good thing is, <coughs> it was also God's idea, so he gave us an instruction manual to go along because he built males and females differently, not only on the outside, but especially up here. And that translates into built-in basic needs that are different, but they have to be filled and can't fill those about ourselves, so somebody has to do it for us. Traditionally, you end up getting married. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> your wife expects you to fill her needs for the rest yeah, of her life, your man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And your husband, he expects the same from you. So the very first lesson we really need to learn well about the marriage relationship is that we do not get into it for what we're going to get out of it for ourselves first, you see, but really for what we bring into it for the benefit of the other first. It's where we keep peace in the family. Yeah. <laughs> it's because when those needs are not filled one by the other, that uh, trouble starts to brew along. See, that's how that works. So very important to know what those basic needs are. This way we work on each other intelligently and keep each other happy. As many of them, <coughs> some are more important than others. And in the Bible, God gave us insights into all of them. And we built us. He knows how we function. One of the most important needs that your wife has, David, that you are to fill throughout the whole life consistently, if not even her greatest need, is for her to always stay completely safe, secure in and of your love. Must never, never, never give her an opportunity to even doubt it. Many reasons throughout life, but also your wife, she blooms the best when she's loved the most. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So she needs an overdose of love, huh, comparatively. And because love cannot be seen at all unless it is demonstrated and expressed, easiest way to do that is just to tell your wife every day how much you love her and how much she means to you. And during the year, of course, you buy her some little gifts here and there, and flowers and jewelry and perfume and things. You know, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's not a birthday. <laughs> especially when it's not a birthday, big points for that. You know, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> lots and lots of very important <laughs> principles to follow for marriages to succeed. So I encourage both of you, pray together, pray for each other, and study your instruction manual for yourselves and huh, the Bible. Never be sorry for that. Everything we need for life is in there, in all of its facets. This one and the next. Too much religion out there. Not enough of God. Elvis, do you want a song for this one? Yes, sir. <laughs> Maybe I didn't dream you One as good as I should have Carol, I give you this ring. Give this ring. As a pledge to my love and commitment, I take you to be my wife. I promise to be your faithful husband. And I will love you and cherish you, respect you and honor you, provide for you and protect you, 
all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And would you please place the ring upon your fiancé's finger and say, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a pledge to my love and commitment. As a pledge to my love and commitment. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. I promise to be your faithful wife. I promise to be your faithful wife. And I will love you and cherish you. And I will love you and cherish you. And respect you and honor you. And respect and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay. And you have some special words you want to say. Okay. love is all about hearts and flowers, well in our case it's all about hearts. If it wasn't for that wee team in Edinburgh, we would never have met, and since that derby day you have turned my life around. The last couple of years have brought us a lot of heart, heartache and pain, but I've had your help to guide me through these dark times. We have both come out stronger people, and as Florence says, you got the love I need to see me through. I look forward to becoming Mrs Wallace and grown old with you, loving you with all my heart. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. And I think you do have some special vows. This is a Graceland, couple? babe. You gotta do some Elvis vows. Alright. So, Alright. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get the pretty bride, if you'd like to just step back right over here, please. Give the man a little room. Okay. You sir, I'd like you to take your left foot and I want you to step right toward this beautiful woman. Take your left hand and point it right at her. Right hand up. You look at your beautiful wife to be, and you say, "Listen, Mom. Listen, Mama. I promise. I promise to always, to always love you tender, baby. Love you tender. Yeah. I promise. I promise to never act, never act like a hound dog, like a hound dog, crying all the time, crying all the time. And I promise. And I promise to always be, to always be your hunk of hunk of burning love. Your hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> It's not the head you want to be moving, sir. Yeah, it's down here, right? That's later. That's later. Give me your flowers, please. Give me this. Okay. Hold on to that for her, please. With your right foot, please step toward your husband to be. Take your right hand, point it right at him. Left hand up. <coughs> I promise. I promise. To always be. To always be. Your loving teddy bear. Your loving teddy bear. I promise. I promise. To never step. To never step. On your blue suede shoes. On your blue suede shoes. I promise. I promise. You will never own. You will never own. Blue suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. And I promise. And I promise. To always be. To always be. Your hunk of hunk of burning love. Your hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> They're good to go. They're good to go. Please All right. Well, after hearing the vows you've exchanged with each other in the sight of these witnesses, in the sight of God, by the authority given to me, as a minister of the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the resurrected Son of the living God. Laws of the state of Nevada, I do pronounce that, which you already are, husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. Big of applause. Yay! Yay! Bride, I've seen it Congratulations, you've